okay, there's about 4.85 million adult Tennesseans. So if you do the math on that, that means that almost 5% of adult Tennesseans have used uh, prescription opioids for non-medical reasons in the last year. Put another way, one out of every 20 adult Tennesseans. That's a remarkable percentage. And uh, if, say, if you have a number that is that high, I guarantee you it's complex in terms of what's driving that behavior. Prescription for Success is a strategic plan developed by the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. The plan will be in collaboration with other agencies that are impacted by the epidemic. In our audience today, we have several people who are invested in this issue, including community leaders, legislators, people in treatment, recovery, and people who work in the field. A complex problem demands coordinated solutions. And we have seven very specific goals. To decrease the number of Tennesseans who have uh, who have abused controlled substances. Decrease, two, decrease the number of Tennesseans who overdose on controlled substances. Three, decrease the amount of controlled substances dispensed in Tennessee. Four, in increase the access and quality of early intervention treatment and recovery services. Five, expand cl collaboration and coordination among state agencies. And six, expand collaboration and coordination with other states. This is obviously not something that's just uh, confined to our borders. I want to say something else. It's a, not a comprehensive effort. It will be a multi-year effort. I would love to say that we will address and clean up this problem in the next few months, uh, but uh, I don't think that that will happen. We want to welcome Representative Antonio Parkinson with us as well. One of his friends is touche. <laughs> Across the state, there are a number of efforts that are already in place to combat this, and you're going to hear some about that this morning. But before I sit down, I want to make a few points that underscore how serious this issue is. In 2012, prescription opioids became the primary substance abuse for people in treatment funded by the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse, overtaking alcohol for the first time. 